Alright guys, what is up? It is your boy Will back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. Now in this video, I will be talking about AMC Entertainment Stocks and ticker symbol GME. Okay, for GameStop Corporation. I'll be going over some key levels I'm looking for in both of these stocks, buying levels, support levels, and resistance levels. I am looking to buy more shares of both, but they are not ready just yet. So you have the levels that I'm looking for to actually start getting some more shares, okay? So make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, turn your uh, post notifications so you don't miss any updates, and then always make sure to watch your risk management in each stock. Try to have a certain percentage you're playing on each stock so your account never hurts off one stock, okay? Now, the first stock we'll be talking about today is AMC stock, okay? So make sure you smash that like button. Let's get the video over $100. And I know the posting times, uh, this was earlier than I was supposed to be posting, but since I did post one this morning, I went on and added this one today. But the regular times will be 4 p.m., 6 p.m., and 8 p.m. right after this video, and that's all central times. So on AMC, let me zoom in. This is a 30-minute chart, by the way, so every candlestick is 30 minutes. We had a buying level right here around 50, and then we had a last defense level around here around $45.40. And we also had a resistance level around $55. If we zoom out, we'll see that right there. Okay, that's still a resistance level. I will leave that on the charts. But we have, do have a new resistance level, so that's what we're going to put on the chart first. And that resistance level is around 52. So 52 is a new resistance level that I'm watching now, which is kind of where current price is. It's the only really, really, oh, actually, actually, I see another resistance level around 49. So we're going to move that down here. Okay. This is a resistance level I see now. Buying level, old buying level came down. Kind of showed a little support, a little buying pressure, but overall it was not an entry. This shows you right here. It was not an entry. I teach you guys that in the stock market options crash course. So make sure you join that. And then also make sure you join the stock market live webinar. Two and a half, two and a half hours of me teaching you guys on how to trade in the markets. So do not miss that. It is on our website, allprotradersclub.com. So then show buying pressure here. We'll take that level off. This is a new resistance level. Okay. The new resistance level, $49. This is for tomorrow. Okay, so $49 resistance level. We have a last defense level down here around $45.40. This is something I am watching now, okay? You really don't want price to break this because if it breaks this, I think price is going to go down to around $40, okay? So that's what I'm kind of looking at now if it breaks that price level. But I'm also looking at around $47 for buying pressure. Like I said, I do want to buy more shares of AMC and a GME. Okay. I have not sold any shares of AMC and I don't plan on selling, but this is the new level that I'll be looking at to actually start seeing some buying pressure come in the market. Okay. So we have a new resistance, $49, new buying level, $47 and last defense level, $45 and 40 cents. And if you're new, whenever I say last defense level, that just means if this level breaks and doesn't retest it the next day, then I do turn bearish. Next stock, GameStop Corporation, ticker symbol GME. Now, the thing about GameStop is it kind of traded sideways at this buying level, right? Kind of traded sideways. So right here, so all this right here did not confirm, right? This is the confirmation that I was looking at. Hit it perfectly. Buying pressure hit it perfectly. Came up. The buying level I gave you guys was $200. You could check the lows of these, low 200, low 199.93. So basically hit it perfectly, had the buying pressure. I was looking to enter off this, okay? But this did not show confirmation of that buying pressure, okay? It's something else that we look for when price is starting to drop back down, okay? Like I said, stock market options crash course. You can also join, join the stock market live webinar. I'll teach you guys on the webinar on how to trade off these, okay? Very, very crucial. So show no entry broke through okay so this buying level is done the new buying level that i'm looking at now is actually around like 194 so down here now two ways i'm looking to play uh gamestop corporations as you guys know my ultimate exit is around like 255 that's why i'm looking to exit total so around 194 i'm looking for that buying pressure but also if tomorrow's an update if it crosses back above 200 tomorrow then 200 will become my buying level again okay so I'll, I'll make it um light so if it does cross 200 tomorrow then 200 will become my buying level again 
right here okay so make this one lighter make this one a little heavier since uh, the 200 level was traded through today so these are main two buying levels that i'm looking at right now and then the resistance level is still around let's go out to the 90 day 30 minute chart so you guys can kind of see it a little more clear right here resistance level is still around 223 dollars okay so that's how i'm playing amc and gme hope you guys enjoyed the video Always remember, no trick of the buyer. So anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.